Hey guys, it's Queen, and I'm uh, here to show you guys what I've been working on. If you follow me on Twitter and my blog, you know that I've been working on creating a strip mall. Um, I've wanted to do this for like ever since The Sims came out, but there was never enough stuff to really like go for it. Um, even though, you know, new things are still coming out in the store every month, um, new expansion packs and stuff packs are yet to be released. Um, I still think it's a really good time to do this, um, to build one. And I love the way that it came out. You guys know I'm not like, I, I say this all the time, I'm not the best builder in the world. I guess I don't suck at it, but I'm not the best in the world, nor do I claim to be. I'm not saying that this is perfection, but this is what I build to put into my game. Um... I love the way that it turned out. I think it came out really, really great. Um, it's uh, it's really fun and me. And um, yeah, now these stores will have a lot of items. I tried to use more stuff pack and expansion pack um, content than uh, store content, even though there is a lot of store content still. Um, like such as premium content and things like that but I tried to use more um, expansion and uh, stuff back content than I than I usually do um, so yeah um, also if you guys see this stuff and you're like gosh I don't I don't have that stuff so I'm not gonna download it you can always download this lot and still like the things that you don't have you can put other things that you do have in its place. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so this is Starlight Strip. And why did I name it Starlight Strip? Uh, because I'm probably gonna put it in Starlight Shores. <laughs> so, but this is Starlight Strip. Um, it has a park for the kitties to play, and it has a bunch of, of stores for Sims of all ages to just come and relax and just shop and have fun, as you can see. There are a couple of people already here. Um, two of my Sims are here uh, that I just randomly put together to golf two minutes. Um, so don't think I put a lot of effort into them. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys just like kind of a little, a little overview of the out of what the outside of this store, the strip mall looks like. Now, for those of you that are not familiar, that are not familiar with a strip mall. It's like a regular mall. It has a ton of stores. It's just all on this whole strip. So pretty much you get out you get out of your car and you go from store to store to store. You know, it's it's very fun. Um I love it as you guys can see from the outside like of these stores. You can pretty much tell what's inside of them. Um so let's go ahead and get started with showing you guys the stores. I'm really excited for this. I'm really, really, really excited. Okay, so I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible, but there are, there's a lot of stores to cover, so I'm, I apologize in advance if it's like 20 to 30 minutes long. Okay, so this is the first store. I have, I had all of the names. All of the names are, are in the description of the download, not the video, but the download. Um, you'll see, like, I named every single store. I do know this one is called uh, Sarah's Boutique here. If I can remember, I will try to remember them. This is called uh, Sar Sarah's Boutique. And Sarah's Boutique, as you can see, let's put the walls up for you guys. It's like a little, it's a little store. Um, you can also see it from this side of the window as well. It's a little store. You have, it's a little dress boutique, things like that. Um, and let's go ahead and show you the inside here. And this is the inside. This is seriously, it's so fun. Um, it's a clothing store, obviously, um, with a stylist thing. This is what I mean by, for my Create a Lot contest, which there will be an annotation on the screen throughout this entire video to that video for you guys to enter the Create a Lot contest. For my Create a Lot contest, when I say it has to be functional, obviously you can't create a Sims 3 a clothing store in The Sims 3 yet, but I mean you can move around in the store and you know that's pretty much what I meant by that. You know you can interact with all of the interactable, doesn't make any sense, um, items such as this one right here. You can get a makeover. 
in the clothing you know that's what i meant by like my sim can walk up to this and use it like there's nothing blocking it and she won't you know wave her hands and go ah because she can't you know make it to it but anyways this is my um this is my boutique and here are some dressing rooms over here let's go ahead and zoom in there are some dressing rooms over here and yes they look like actual dressing rooms they have like a little stool in them with a mirror and of course a light um, so those are some dressing rooms and then you have you know your clothing racks uh, and you know your things to go in the window just you know the the shirts on the tables like they normally have perfumes at the counter uh, yeah so this is what it looks like um, yeah I love it your shoes it's just a really really fun um, I like it a lot like I really really like it I'm gonna take it off pause so you guys can see sims interacting with the stuff if they do um but yeah I love it it's seriously it was the first store that I created and it made me fall in love with it it made me want to finish a strip mall um it just it looks awesome it's a clothing store okay so the next one eels we're gonna go down here is the cafe um it was originally a Katy Perry sweet treats cafe this is what the outside looks like but it's obviously changed since <laughs> um yeah so when you go up to the cafe here you have oh she's the cornelia goth is the merchant um so when you go up to the cafe you have uh just it looks like a, it's, it looks like a cafe when you're inside of it there's some fireplaces that you guys can light um and just uh yeah, and I made sure I put smoke alarm in the places that could get caught on fire. I don't want this place burning down on you guys. Um, but, yeah, here's just, this is just a quick view of the cafe. It's very, very cozy and warm. You can play dominoes here. Some portraits on the wall over there, clustered and everything. It just looks so much fun. All right, this is probably, this next one is probably my favorite favorite one of my favorite stores in this entire strip mall and it is the hardware store um yeah this is the hardware store I know it's a hardware store right like it's so much fun <laughs> okay so uh this is what the outside looks like let's go ahead and go in Oh, look, there's a guy here, which makes it totally perfect. I, I, could, I, I told myself, I was like, watch, when I record the video, the, the, the merchant is going to be a female. Not that a female can't run a hardware store. Don't get me wrong, because I'm a very handy... Oh, did he just pass gas? Did you... Oh, Sims. Okay. Not that a female can't run a hardware store. I'm just saying, I would... Just for the, for the video, I would have liked a guy. You know. Um, but the name of the store is called The Toolbox. And I believe the cafe, I forgot the name of the cafe. Um, but this is called the Toolbox. And you go here, you can buy handy dandy tools. You see all these stuff on the walls and stuff on the shelves. You know, handy dandy tools and things like that. And just to, you know, yeah. So you, you ladies or fellas, if you're thinking about killing your boyfriend or girlfriend, perfect place to come to bury their body. You have your rope to tie them up, your lanterns for when you walk into the woods. This is your, your fertilizer for, you know, to, you know, when you dig up the body and you put the dirt, you know, you want the grass to go back as fast as possible. So, no, you come back here. You have your fertilizer. Is he? I think he might be at the gym. No, don't. Okay. You have your fertilizer. Um, yeah, you have your buckets just in case. And you have some towels to wipe the dirt off of you. Um, and oh, and your shovels. You can't forget your shovels. You know what I mean? If you want to bury a body. Just saying. Oh, <laughs> um, and then here is uh, just a little spotlight. Um, the little, the little, you know, spotlight on the featured product, I guess. And then just some other stuff, some tool. You can buy some tool um, boxes. And, uh, yeah, so this is the toolbox. Uh, the register is a co-assignment register, so if you are a sculptor or an inventor, you can come and sell your sell your things. You can sell if you're painters and writers or whatever. But yeah, so that is the, that is the toolbox. I don't want to take up too much time. All right, this next place is, if you can't tell, it is the gym. Um, and let's go ahead and go into the gym. 
so it's seriously a very very simple um modern gym it's very bright and uh tried to give it that gym atmosphere uh, a lot of town life stuff was also used what the fuck what the fuck finds its way to in a very near via the postman what the fuck oh oh i know what she's talking about okay uh <laughs> okay so you have it's just like i use a lot of town life stuff with this strip mall as well so and ambitions a lot of town life stuff ambitions and uh that's pretty much like the main stuff that you use but um yeah your lockers of course and your bathrooms i love giving sims glass doors to their bathrooms because they don't like care about privacy so it's just fun it's funny to me it's i'm weird like that you know like to go ahead and creep in on them you know taking a poopy so yeah this is the gym area and i'm gonna just zoom out a little bit here so you guys can see what it looks like zoomed out and then this is what the tool thing looks like zoomed out as well and the cafe zoomed out as well and the clothing store zoomed out as well okay so this is all of that stuff moving along here um this is probably oh my god it's so much like oh god what is he wearing i promise you guys all i did was their everyday attire i i can't i don't i don't take credit for that um but anyways this is i'll pause it because they're over there this is this little, my little story with this place is the um, the fortune teller and the private eye couldn't afford enough money for to buy a full thing for the strip mall, so they decided to split the rent um, to you know rent out space here at the strip mall, and this is what you get. So you have your hallway here, as you can see. Uh, you go to this side is the fortune teller. To this side is the private eye and they're ha they have their different waiting areas you know you see the private eyes ones and then you see the fortune teller one yeah so let's go ahead and I'll show you guys the fortune tellers player oh so this is what the fortune tellers uh, store area looks like um, it's very very fun it has a bunch of things from um, see no one told you to do that <clears throat> It has a bunch of things from, uh, um, huh? from, uh, the store, the premium content particularly. <coughs> you see the voodoo doll, the thing as, as that thing too. Um, and then you have, you know, your cauldron and your spell book and yeah, it looks, I think it came out really, really lovely. It's probably, it's another one of my favorite, um, stores, rooms that I uh, created for the strip mall. Now the private eye is just an office, you know, where you would come to meet a private eye. You know, you sit in the chair, you explain what happens, he creates a file for you, and boom, you know, he has this little board, that's where his hat and stuff hang, and yeah, uh, he travels a lot, so there's luggage, and just, you know, some office type things, you know, nothing too you know special but it is a private eyes office and uh i think it was a nice touch to to this strip mall it has a really nice it's something different you know what i mean you guys would have never expected a private eyes office to be in my strip mall did you nope probably not even a a fortune teller shop either did you nope or a tool or a hardware store nope <laughs> all right so um as you can see what's coming next it is my music store, and this is the outside of it. Obviously, you can see on display some of the items that are featured there, and yeah, yeah, I love it. So let's go ahead and go inside. Oh, and I'll show you what this looks like uh, above. Like, yeah, that is what you're getting. Okay, so this is the music store. This is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Uh, your band can come play here if you guys set the lot to that type of lot type um, um or you can come practice with your band doesn't matter um also here is you know a bunch of guitars that they have available this is these are from the Katy Perry this is from the store these are from the base game and those are from the store um yeah some bases and then of course you got to sell mp3 players and stereos uh piles of cds oopsie uh god hold on I gotta take this let me call you back let me call you back 
Yes, I'm totally fine. Okay, bye. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, more stereos and stuff like that. I just thought it would be really, really fun. You can, you know, you can look at the drum, drum sets that they have available for sale. I thought that this was really fun, and um, I love the way this turned out. I'm trying to give you guys a great, a really nice view of it here. I love the way it turned out. It's it's so fun and just so awesome. Um, the playground, it's, well, it's a playground. Nothing too special about there, but this is what it looks like just a regular simple playground you know and I wanted to make it for all ages so I added this because you know toddlers can't interact with some of this stuff on their own so I, I, I added the, the toy box and that just for you know just in case you want to bring your toddler or something alright so oh and then this little obviously you can sell um do they go home okay he's drinking some coffee or something in the cafe he's using the cafe look at that Look at that. I, I would prefer he wasn't in here in his underwear, but whatever. Okay, so do, 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 do. I know where I'm going, even though I can't see. Here we go. Okay, so you guys can tell. This is my arcade. I, I believe, what's the name of the arcade? I forgot the name of the arcade, but this is the name of the, this is the name. This is the arcade. Oh, this is called Boombox. This store is called Boombox. Um, but this is the arcade here, um, and it has this whole future shock, futuristic theme to it. All right, so let's go ahead and go inside of the arcade here. This is the little seating area, I guess. I can just imagine teens sitting here waiting for their parents to come pick them up or something. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like over here. Chess table. I don't know why I put a chess table. I think it just looked nice. Stereo for music. And then you have your, you know, your old school vintage games. And then you have your, you know, your console games with some uh, more arcade games. And then, yeah, I just put a bunch of, um, I put a bunch of arcane gate, arcane gate, arcade, 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 blah, 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 arcade games that I had, you know, available. This isn't even all of them. I kid you not. This is not all of the arcade games that I have. But there's so many different types from expansion packs and stuff packs and the store. It's just so many different ones. And then this is what that looks like as an overview. Alright. And um, going over next whoa that's sunset valley if in case you were wondering um next we have the bookstore you know i had to put a bookstore in <laughs> so here's the bookstore it's getting dark so i'm gonna stop that really quick i don't want it to get too dark um here's the bookstore um you walk in you have your bookstore clerk who's that Madison Van Watson. She's the bookstore clerk. And it's seriously just a simple... Uh, where's the lights? Where are the lights? Where are the lights? Let me turn. Uh, set intensity. Right. All lights. Is that only that room? I think it's only that room. Uh, set intensity. Bright. All lights. I did not put lights in this bookstore. Hmm. That's why. Okay. When you download this, put lights in the bookstore. Even though there's lights in the bathroom. I don't know what is up with me. Um, okay, so I didn't put lights in the bookstore. Yay me. But it's seriously just, you have your, it's, uh, with the, it's made with the Town Life stuff pack. Uh, so I think pretty much everything almost in here is, town, is from Town Life stuff or the base game. Uh, except the plants. So, yeah. And this thing. I think this thing, I don't know, World Adventures. Yes, and of course the, the registers from World Adventures as well. But if you have Town Life stuff, this is what it's going to look like. Oh, and this rug came from the store. The Gothic set. Okay, so that is the bookstore pretty much in a nutshell. Nothing too much to see here. And some of you might scream, but Katie's Sweet Treats. That is the name of the store, Katie's Sweet Treats. Not Katy Perry, but Katie's Sweet Treats. Pretty, might as well be Katy Perry, but this is what that looks like. And you know what? It's not as bad as you guys may think when you walk, when you go inside. Let's go ahead and show you the overview. This, it's a candy store. It's a sweet treat store. And as you can see, there's people making their little sweet treats 
Um, I can definitely put that out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's people making their little sweet treats and everything and eating them. You can purchase sweet treats on the shelves, many different cons, on the walls. And then there's you can purchase little gingerbread houses. And even though you can't really buy these things, but yeah. <laughs> um, there's these little gum drop trees that I love. I love these trees. Um, I wish they were like just real because I would love to put those in my world. <laughs> um, just cute little stacks of cupcakes and then, you know, yeah, more, you know, you can buy different types of sweets over here, cupcakes and stuff and cakes and candies. And then there's just the two little arcade games in this place over there, that little room. Nothing too special. But yeah, so this is Katie's Sweet Treats, and that is what that store looks like. It's very, very bright, and then when you look from outside, you see just a little setup there on the, you know, when you're driving by. It makes you want, you know, an ice cream cone or some cupcakes, and it makes you stop on in. So, that is my strip mall called Starlight Strip. Um, I hope you guys liked it because I loved it. I love it. I loved making it. It was so much fun. Um, it was just, it was so much fun to make. And again, if you guys do not have these items available in your game, you can always make these stores into something your own or still just download it and see what items get replaced. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, see what items get replaced. Um, you know when you do download it because it might be even more surprising to see that or any whatever so I hope you guys enjoy this um, I hope you guys enjoy this it was so much fun just like to make and uh yeah I don't know what to say <laughs> I really don't know what to say I love it. it it was fun to make and I hope you guys enjoy it um yeah so I will talk to you guys all later <laughs> You all have a super fantastic, awesome, splendid, amazing day. Also, when you go to download this lot, it will tell you which items you you already own and which items you need to purchase in order to purchase this lot in all of its entirety. All right, guys. Bye.